My name is Duditz, I do builds and stuff, and today I'm going to talk to you about a future build that I believe is going to be absolutely crazy next season. We're going to be featuring a hand cannon that is going to get a future buff and a perk called Hatchling, what spawns Fredlins. Fredlins are also getting a buff in season 22. As I said, the hand cannons are getting a buff, so this build is going to focus around two buffs, and I'm also going to feature an exotic chest piece called Mantle of Battle Harmony, and I'm going to show you how that improves hatchling damage as well so stay tuned for that one so i've collected a bit of information over the last month or so about these future buffs incoming and they go on to say about broadweavers here where they said they intended them to be the minion masters of strand but fredlings could feel underwhelming in high-end content especially with the potency of suspend are there any plans to adjust this relationship going forward and then they go on to say here we are working on a two pronged approach to this problem in season 22 they agree fredlins can be hard to use in end game content but they do have plans to buff the damage from fredlins uh, whether that's from a weapon or from your subclass abilities but they do have plans to give these a considerable considerable pve buff so they're going to be more usable you're going to get more out of them for end game content a lot harder activities so that's really really good to know and then, then they talk about hand cannons in the next little segment and they say can hand cannons get a buff not quite shadow levels but at least something i'm not going to sit and read the full thing out to you but they are going to buff hand cannons if you look at the bottom sort of section it says increase reload stat by 15 percent and also at the bottom pve damage against miners red bars 20 percent and against majors 75 percent so that's an absolutely crazy hand cannon buff incoming and that leads me on to the weapon, the Realm Robin. This is why I believe you should get this one crafted. It's a hand cannon. You get this from Neptune Activities. It's got a hatchling on there, which pit, which procs a Fredlins, which, as you've seen in the articles, it is getting a buff. Hatchling is getting a buff, as are hand cannons. So this weapon's technically getting two buffs. But what makes this hand cannon interesting is it rolls hatchling and subsistence. So basically, I've got some clips to show you. This subsistence means you really never have to reload weapon your weapon because you get a kill with the actual bullet from the gun that is going to reload the magazine but hatchling actually reloads the magazine as well so it's absolutely crazy hand cannon very very underrated for pve and this particular hand cannon around robin has got nano check a tracer rockets a built-in perk in there as well the origin trait little mini micro rocket so it's a really really nice hand cannon now i'm going to show you this hatchling subsistence working together you'll see i've got six in the mag go straight to seven and then the hatchling had the extra bullet as well so you literally never have to reload this hand cannon and again at the moment i just want to say i can't you can't really use this in end game content because hand cannons do feel a little bit lackluster as bungie have addressed but you'll see there i'm constantly reloading my magazine from the subsistence it's reloading the mag from the hand cannon shot and from the fredlin so it's really really nice now the next part of the video i want to show you how to get some a really nice damage increase on our fredlins from the hatchling perk look at this number here 15,950. bear that number in mind i will write this in the video description as well so 15,950. and all i'm going to do is add an exotic chess piece called mantle of battle harmony i break this down into two segments so the first part of the chest piece gives you super energy if you get kills with a weapon that matches your subclass element obviously it's strand and then once you've got your super it then trades that super gain into damage you get a 25 percent damage increase per kill and that stacks for 10 seconds it no longer stacks with weapon surges but 25 percent on weapon kills is really really nice but the weapon kills it does actually tick the box for hatchlings as well now watch this number go up it was 15,950 all the way up to 19,000 just short of 20k so that is the 25% damage increase so once again it's going up to 19,937 we can even go further than that by adding a thread of evolution fredlings travel further and deal additional damage these all stack together, so we're going to get a real nice damage increase on our Fredlins. And you'll see here, it's going up to 26,516. So that is a considerable amount of damage increase. It's a 66% damage increase. Mantle of Battle Harmony, Thread of Evolution, all working together. And this, just by the way, 
is before all the buffs for Hatchling, Fredlin coming in the next few seasons and the hand cannons getting a buff as well so we're going to run around, do plenty of damage not have to reload and do some serious serious damage with our Hatchling Fredlin as well and even more so in harder content the fragments and things like that to look at I mean we can even run like Fredlin Grenade as well this is obvious a Fredlin Grenade if you hold to consume that it's going to uh, give you five little mini Fredlins that are going to perch on you with the Mind Spun Invocation. Weaver's Call, putting your class ability down, is also going to spawn Fredlins. So these are all going to get buffed as well. So it's just an all round buffed build for Season 22. And on top of that, we've got Fred of Evolution, which we've touched on. We've got Fred of Rebirth, Strand, Weapon, Final Blows, have a chance to create a Fredlin. I'm going to show you more about that in a moment. Fred of Generation works really nicely with Hatchling and Fredlin perks because uh, you're just going to get loads of grenade energy with that one. And then Fred of Finality, Finish It, Final Blows also create Fredlins. So all out Fredlins. And then we're going to spawn double Fredlins as well. Look at that. This is the perk we just talked about. The Fragment, sorry, Fred of Rebirth, Strand Weapon, Final Blows have a chance to create a Fredlin. And I've also got Hatchlin on the hand cannon. So that is creating two little mini Fredlins. So it's really, really nice little fragment to run that one with Hatchlin weapons because you can actually create two at times. It's not all the time, obviously, but it does work quite often. So more more damage from our little Fredlins. And of course, we've got weapons with Hatchlin on as well. Uh, heavy weapons such as Corex's Distress or the Circular Logic from Neptune as well. So we can't really just smash out a really, really uh, focused build onto uh, Fredlins if we wanted to. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Fredlins or the Hatchling pack to heal as well with Precious Scars. Now this is sort of an underrated helmet. I did a build on this a few seasons ago, or maybe last season. But what Precious Scars does, final blows from weapons with a damage type matching your subclass energy create a burst of healing around you. Obviously again it's Strand, we're using the Round Robin. But the strand hand cannon kill, the bullet will heal you, but also the hatchling also heals you as well. So I've just got a few clips just to show you that, how we can focus these hatchlings with this future buff, all these little fredlings. We're also going to be, to be able to use these for healing versus damage with a mantle of battle harmony. So I just really wanted to show you this. You'll see there that healing procking from the fredling. So that is just another little thing I wanted to show you. So hopefully when all these buffs come in, like I said, the hand cannons are going to get a nice buff. Uh, Fredlins are going to get a nice buff. So hopefully these type of builds will be very good for harder activity as well. Let me know what you think of this video. If you found it helpful, let me know. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching.